I watched the season finale of Hawkeye. Um, it was okay. It's just, it's just so much of the same thing throughout the entire season. Like throughout the entire season, it's all the same thing. She spends most of the time doubting herself, but then still plunges ahead, head first, not knowing what's happening. And then we see Hawkeye break down and I'm just like, we, why we, why would he do this? And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's, you're my partner. Your problems are my problems. You spent the entire 97% of the season saying the exact opposite. 97% of the season was spent on the opposite of what you just said. Um, the big reveal is Kingpin is in it. Spoilers. Um... He's wearing like a Hawaiian thing. I'm sure it's probably some comic thing that I'm just not catching on to right now. But he's wearing like an all white suit with a Hawaiian <laughs> Hawaiian shirt and a cane because you know Daredevil would just beat his ass that bad. <laughs> he has a cane now. Um to go along with Hawkeye's hard of hearing. Um and so he's revealed to be the big bad pulling everything behind the strings um another reveal was that um hawkeye's wife is maybe an agent of shield maybe um and also like kate bishop's mom is a bad guy but the stepfather uh the almost stepfather was not the bad guy and i was just like all this stuff is so predictable so predictable like it plays out very predictably and then that's the twist like she set them up the mom and it's like then it's back to more predictability and really that whole plot line was just not even necessary at all like that whole part was not necessary you don't need to create a rift between mother and daughter i think her trying to fight crime is doing that enough and she kept giving the same speech about like i know what it's like to have nothing you're not you can't handle that life blah blah what does that gotta do with her kicking butt she literally doesn't really like you can argue everything's still paid for but she doesn't live in like a fancy place you know gosh that dude i hate um uh, but it's just it's just frustrating because like it could have been good I, I really didn't have high hopes for it but it could have been better than what it was um and then for whatever reason Kevin Feige and everyone else thought it was a good idea to let's put little old brand new Kate Bishop against Kingpin. Kingpin out of all people. So they they're fighting a little bit and then all of a sudden Kate Bishop's mom um hits him with the car. He crashes and barrels through a front like a department store window and then um he gets up because he's kingpin and and immediately she tries to go stop him because he finna like take out her mom and so now we have kate bishop with no arrows fighting kingpin you know in in spider-man games spider-man is fighting kingpin and in the daredevil um series that's the big bad majority of the show um but now we got kate bishop you know she could shoot a little bit she could not take out the tracksuit men without hawkeye's help but i'm supposed to believe that she can take out kingpin and she did like she took out kingpin like she had some help with some arrows but ultimately she took out kingpin and i'm just like what the hell is happening what just happened there's just no way they just let this lady do that shit there's no way there's no way i'm gonna believe k bishop even capable of taking out kingpin like we've seen him fight and he wasn't even fighting like himself it's just and then the end credit scene was like a scene from the musical and it's just the whole show bro the whole show <laughs> it's like fan the whole show is fan service but that's my cue. That do for this video. Please like, come subscribe. Um, Merry Christmas. I'll be back. <laughs>